The challenge of getting the gold medal in the new Eden Burning scenario is that you can't afford any pause between each of the dam level. So in this episode, we're going to have to juggle finishing the first level, but at the same time preparing everything necessary to start the second level, and in particular, increasing significantly our uh, Obreros population. I'm Strike Gamer. thank you for tuning in into episode 5 out of 7, we're getting closer to the end, into our guide from start to finish on how to get the gold medal into the Eden Burning scenario. Before we dive in, please consider subscribing to the channel by clicking on the red button below. And below the video, you can also find in the description a link to download this actual save if you want to follow along. Lastly, let's do a 10 second recap. At the beginning, we really focused on creating a big city as quickly as possible, clearing up trees and ruins. Then we focused on creating three production hubs with three different trade unions and items. Moving quickly to Obreros, we made a small mistake here that we are going to have to correct into this episode, which is that we stopped at 250 Obreros instead of going to 500 Obreros. And then, of course, we started the first level of the dam. Now we need to make sure that all of the resources needed for level 2 and 3 of the dam start being produced. Okay, so we have almost 140 minutes. We're halfway through level 1 of the dam, so we need to make sure that we're ready for level 2, and that in particular means we need a lot more obreros. You need 500, uh, 900 obreros for the second level of the dam. Right now we have zero workforce available, and we haven't even started things like our electric cable, com uh, electric cable factories and cement factories, which will also require um, some Obreros. So we really need to focus on getting more Obreros, and that's why you'll see that soon we will upgrade John Arrows to Obreros. This was, I think, the final island uh, with gifts around. You don't know about all of the event islands around it, don't hesitate to check on my channel. And the big problem there too is, look at the money at the top. We are out of money. We have barely $2,000. <laughs> We're making money, we're making $3,000 per minute, but still, this is very low, especially given that for the concrete factory and um, the cable factory, they cost quite a bit. They cost $15,000 and $30,000 respectively. So we're going to need to juggle that. The good thing is that we're almost done with all of the ruins apart from the generator. So that will enable us to upgrade a lot of our journal errors now to obreros because we don't need them. I'm focusing first on all of the people that are in the range of the trade union. The range of that trade union is not really perfect, but that's that's what you have to do. And now we've finally unlocked all of the final goods for obreros, things like Atoll, that you can see here. It will require coffee, but we'll make it for sure. You need to deliver everything. It does require a bit more corn again and also sugarcane. First time we need sugarcane, so placing it in a corner where you, as always, you don't have too many trees to make sure your forestation bonus doesn't go too low. Delete all of your lumberjack huts as always when they're finished. And by now, uh, there's those two ruins that are left. I'm stopping one because I was too. Uh, too low on, on workforce for the journal errors, also stopping one of the fisheries, hoping it's enough and we can see it is enough to produce for my whole population. And we're missing corn, so that's the next one to produce. Trying to find a corner that doesn't have corn to not have the monoculture mo malus, even if, to be honest, my eco balance on the soil, the one in the middle, is so high that. It wouldn't matter at this point. We are back into positive in all of the eco balance. That's great. We still need to deliver quite a bit of resources for the first level of the dam. I'm getting a bit more into higher speeds from time to time because the city is fairly developed. There is still, of course, a few things we need to build and balance from time to time. But it's not like the beginning of the game where I really, really suggest you play only in half speed. I'm 
out of wood, we need to cut more trees, which will create problems, of course, but that's life. One more ruin stone, bricks that will definitely help for uh, level one and also a phase two actually of the dam. Checking, you know, always my productions and consumptions, make sure I'm not too low on something. For example, here, banana and corn still. And we have a new quest also on the water side. Decide how to deal with the dirty water animals are forced to drink. Can increase. So you, you, I could have either increased the modules, decrease the productivity or try to increase my water. And I knew that for increasing the water, they would ask me to make two water purifier, which I can because I had five and then you can stop them again. So it was a no brainer. And that's why I went through it very quickly. Don't hesitate to ask in the comments below, you know, if you see anything like this, where maybe you see something, but I don't talk about it and you don't know what happened. I'd be very happy to answer, you know, I'm not trying to hide anything. There's definitely no cheat in this run through. That's also why I'm sharing, you know, the actual saves along the way in the description of the video. I have nothing to hide. And we will actually also use, by the way, those water purifier later on to make sure that our water eco balance stays high. Also make sure that your warehouses can keep up with all of the deliveries, right? Sometimes even if it's an investment of 10 timber, it's better than uh, just your production stalling for too long. I know I have quite a bit of uh, Oboleros workforce, a bit too early versus uh, when I actually need it because I'm out of money <laughs> to build what I want to build. But still, yeah, it's, it's not too bad because the Oboleros also production chains um, are not too taxing because I don't give them tools, for example. We have passed the one hour and 30 uh, mark. So basically we've played for one hour in terms of game time. I'm going to create two dynamites because it's important to refill our iron mine. There's, you know, there's very little chances you'll be able to finish uh, everything without at least one refill. If you do, uh, found the crates hidden in the city, you'll get one refill for free, and then that could be enough. But still, it's good to have, you know, they don't really don't cost that much, 10 timber. Uh, so it's good to, to have it ready in case you have also an event, you know, some one of the events uh, makes that your mine goes to zero, even if the, uh, it was full. So it's good to have that readily available. We are in positive, just in positive by one in uh, air, thanks to all of the production and non polluting production we have with the item plus three. Otherwise, we would definitely be in negative with all of our heavy industries. For this, you just need to throw by doing a right click, you know, the item, and then you'll get the two herborium. Still have 45 minutes left on our um, generator ruins. And that's why you need to you know, really do them as early as possible. And, and that, that's actually what I meant earlier. You know, this is the landslide. If you don't choose one of the two at the top, they will, you will lose one of your mine. Um, and it doesn't tell you which one, it can be many different ones. Uh, so now I'm trying to check which one it is because it doesn't even appear on top. You have to actually go inside and here we see this one went to zero out of 340. So that's good that I have actually my dynamite so I can use it now. And restart it right away. We have uh, two steel factories but we and one um, cable, electric cable factory, but we still need a second electric cable and two cement factories. And you want to start that for sure before 
um, you start the third level and actually you know you, you you want to start that around the one hour mark if at the one hour mark you don't have your cement factories working you're in trouble because you're gonna need 120 cement for the last level i'm going to put here a lumberjack hut close to a forester so that the cut you know it's sort of a sustainable uh, cutting because the, the trees will be replanted similar to what we have here at the bottom okay so so far you know not a lot of problem in this episode apart from the fact that we are bankrupt i mean now i had enough money to make one cement factory but i don't have enough money to make a second or to make the other element so yeah, we're we're just um, that's another reason why you know you obviously also want to give as much as you can to the obreros population that they give you positive income. When you pause uh, buildings, they still cost you maintenance. So that's where you may want to start deleting some buildings that have high maintenance. There's not that many, and here we are. We have finished level one. And we're going to start level 2, which requires tools, bricks, and steel, and 900 obreros, which is why now we are back into negative for the obreros, positive for the journaleros uh, workforce, because of course we just regain 900 uh, of workforce for them. So I also restarted that ruin clearing at the top, also restarted a few foresters and things like this. But we're definitely going to need to now uh, ensure that we get to 900 obreros as soon as possible. Otherwise, instead of the 30 minutes, it will take, you know, one hour or even more, depending on, on how many obreros you have. It is important also to note that for the cement factory, you need electric cables. So you sort of want to do the electric cables production before um, the cement factory ones, otherwise... I mean, you'll never be able to, to build them, basically. <laughs> okay, so we have very few productions that have stopped now, mostly the timber and some of the bricks. We have quite a bit of timber. It is actually a bit of a mistake. I should have completely stopped the timber. I should have probably kept one or two going. Um, but I also needed the wood for my tools because now we need, we also, we really need tools for the second level. Bad again on corn. Corn is definitely something you don't need that much at the beginning, but then for obreros, you need a lot more. That's also why I like to create some corn farms early to get a bit of a stock um, to help me later on when I forget to build more corn farms. Okay, and now we have oh, again more obreros thanks to new journaleros upgrade. We had to give tools once again, and that's why also I restarted all of my tool production, not just one or two, but all of them. She's putting a pressure on her hair. Echo balance, as you know, that's life. We finished the last ruin, given us all again some bricks. The last one uh, outside of the generator, of course, which still has probably 40 minutes or so. Now we can stop the tools for our journal arrows now that we have enough for now at least for um, the dam and all of those productions you can see that i'm producing way more uh, workloads than i need now because i have a lot less journal arrows because workloads are not needed for obreros but i'm actually keeping that production because it's giving me three a bonus of three thanks to the item for my air eco balance right and that's one that's really hard to keep high. And we've started to deliver quite a bit to the second level of the dam. We need more money. We're almost there, you know, 30,000. We have 28 at this moment for the second electric cable factory. 
I got a bit restless, so I increased a bit the speed. <laughs> and here we are. The two electric cable factories done, and uh, one cement factory done, we have one more to go. And when a new Forester Hub plus 50, I chose the second uh, choice, which was, you know, we need to improve our hair and they were saying we need to get to 800. And there, this is something big. I don't know if it's a bug or not, but basically I realized I can do it. I could definitely stop a lot of things. And uh, I think I would still have made it, but it's annoying me because it's three minutes of, of stopping that. So I just said, okay, let me try to save and let me then delete the quest and see what happens, like see what the, the malus is. And actually I didn't get any negative uh, element. You know, she said, she just said she's disappointed, but nothing else happened. Again, I don't know if that's a bug or not. I've planned to share that with Ubisoft team. And that's how we end episode five out of seven, getting closer to the end, we have started the second level of the dam and started the production for level three with our electric cable and cement so we're well on track all is going well so far but of course i'm saying that because in the next episode we're gonna have some problems so do stay tuned for it